Hi, I'm Jim from Puree of Audio. Today we are unboxing the S Electronics and Rupert Neve RNT tube microphone. What I have here is the RNT cross design between Rupert Neve and S Electronics. Uh, to microphone and I have been waiting for this for a long 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 time and so I wanted to do an unboxing video and kind of go through this a little bit what I really like about this design of this microphone is its old design techniques with modern technology and when you marry that together you get more depth more clarity less signal noise ratios and all the things that you want out of a microphone, but yet that classic awesome sound that the older microphones give you, but maybe not as much clarity and depth because the signal noise is too high. So uh, let's dig into this thing. This thing is super heavy. We are looking at uh, 29 pounds. So we have a box inside of a box. Inside of another box. Let's see if we can get this thing out. Seems to be very well packed. She just needs super heavy. Nice foam insert. Really nice case. And there's foam in the side of the box for uh, shipping, so a little bit of shock is over. I like how they put plastic over their cases so the cases don't get all marred up while shipping. So far though, this is definitely a heavy beast. So we have a manual. We have a really nice shock mount. This is a similar shock mount to what they use for the uh, R&R1 ribbon microphone. They have extra um, rubber bands for the mount, keys for your case. A uh, power cable and your, uh, I'm assuming 10 pin, but uh, multi pin uh, tube power mic cable. Really nice wood case. The Rupert Neve microphone. Nice little vent area here and your uh, serial number and signature. Set that aside. Got a nice wood case. And I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but this power supply is huge. So on the power supply, I'm going to start with the back. On the back, you have the 115 to 240 volt switch, so you could use it uh, in other places than the United States. 
you have your power button. Then on the front, you have uh, the input to your microphone, uh, the output going out to your console or preamp. You have uh, your high pass frequency, 40 or 80. You have a gain select, which is minus 12 or plus 12 or zero. And then you have multi-pattern. I think there's nine patterns. But what's cool is it's um, a detente, so you could actually get back to that exact pattern. And instead of really dialing in your, your pattern, in a sense, you're kind of dialing in the ambience around the track, um, around the vocals or whatever you're recording. So that's what's kind of cool about that. Now what's great about this thing, which is definitely, I'm not sure, 10 pounds maybe, um, maybe five, is the op amps inside of this are made by, uh, are the 5088 op amps uh, from the Rupert Neve recording console. So that makes this uh, a really, really nice quality that they're putting into this and marrying into this unit. unit also comes with the uh, European microphone mount. I'm going to get rid of that. Hook this thing up to our stand. Now with any microphone that is a little bit heavier in size, uh, I always suggest a beefier mic stand. Right here I'm using a uh, Ultimate Support MC125. Comes with wheels so it's nice you can roll it around. And the other thing you want to keep note is with these SE Electronics um, uh, shock mounts, they have detents, and so it's not like a regular shock mount where you can just loosen it a little bit and then move it while it's kind of tight. You have to actually loosen this all the way, and then when you're in your final position, kind of lock it in and find the detent again, and then you're good to go and it's solid. This just screws on. And again, um, there is no buttons or any kind of controls on this microphone. Everything is on the power supply right in front. So no need to uh, you know switch anything up here. It's all on the bottom here. So now I have this microphone all hooked up and, and it's not super warmed up or anything. It's only been, you know, on, on for 10 minutes. Um, but I'd have to say it's totally silky smooth. And honestly, it's the first microphone that I've actually put my voice on where I'm like, hey, that sounds like me. That sounds true to me. Um, so I'm really excited to do some more tests with this. And this video was just an unboxing. So we're going to have an official review video and talk a little bit more about, you know, the inside components and possibly do a shootout between maybe a U67 and maybe a SC Gemini 2 or something like that. Um, but until then, I uh, hope you enjoy the content. Please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below. Uh, check out purewaveaudio.com for more information. And uh, there's other shootouts and things like that. And uh, this is Jim from Pure Wave Audio saying have a great day.